Hey students, welcome to the first official materials on the first week worth of stuff. I just want to talk a little bit about the learning objectives and pacing guides page so you know what to expect here. And so this page is going to outline, well first the video introduction, this is the thing you're looking at right now, but just to show you on my screen, the first thing is going to be the learning targets. These are super important. This is what you're going to be tested on at the end of the week and these are the things that you need to know, similar to the learning targets that I gave you during normal class. I would recommend maybe getting a piece of paper and writing these learning targets down at the top and really focusing and coming back each time you do an activity to review these learning targets and write more information. Um, collect your stuff as you do things, as you record things. Make sure to compile all your materials together so you can use them as a study resource. Below the learning targets is the pacing guide. This is a recommended guide for you guys to follow each day. Don't try to do everything in one day. Don't try to wait until the very end of the week to get it all done. Pace yourself out, and that way you're not going to go crazy with all this work today you have to do at the final deadline. So on Monday of this week, I recommend first looking at this learning objectives and pacing guide. Hey, notice that each time you complete an activity, you're able to do the next activity, and you can't go down to the bottom without doing the stuff on the top in the sheet or in the in Schoology on the on the week. Um, the next thing I would recommend maybe doing today is taking the notes. Go into the notes and there's a video notes that you can take about the periodic table stuff. A lot of it is review. We talked about it before we had this distance learning thing before spring break, uh, but it's a good reminder of the basic things you really need to know for the assessment. Also today you might recommend doing the discussion post. Now one thing to note, if you notice the discussion, it, it says to go back to it each, each day. The discussion is there for you guys to ask questions and to better yet answer each other's questions. That's a great way to learn. On Tuesday, besides visiting the discussion, do the activity, the ECA element activity, and then maybe finish that on Wednesday to take your time to do it right and to, to put some detail into it. You're not just getting things done just to get them done. They're there to help you learn things. So make sure you take your time and try to do it to the best of your ability. Give your best work, even though this is distant learning. We're going to make the best out of the situation. On Thursday, I recommend watching the video, How to Prepare for Assessments, and just start studying. Follow, um, read through your notes and interact with your materials and follow the discussion again. Go to the discussion and answer as many questions as possible instead of answering, asking more questions. Finally, on Friday, you're going to take a test and the outline of the test will be on Schoology and it will tell you what to do when you get there. At the very end of that, there's a survey. Take that survey to let us know how we can improve as teachers through you for this distant learning and maybe there's a self-reflection for you. Again, good luck, guys.